Hi, this is Lauren from Lemon Sky Actions, LSP Actions, and I'm going to show you how you can turn your logo into a watermark brush for Photoshop for stamping over your images, like this. Easy. A lot easier than um, pasting it in, or placing it and resizing it. So I've got a few logos up here to work on. Um, it all depends on which format your logo is in, and I'm going to show you um, a few different ways to do this. First off, um, let me just <laughs> change this brush to something normal. So first off is your logo is a PNG file, which means the background is transparent. And you can see up here, it's wall one flat layer. This is great, this is easy. As you can see, uh, the logo, I'm using my logo, has got color in it. You want to change your logo to black on a white background to make this brush. So I'm going to uh, duplicate the layer so that I can pop a layer underneath it. I'm going to use solid color set to white. So here is the white background. I'm going to delete that layer now. So here where it says layer zero copy, I'm going to change that to logo just to show you. So there is the logo on a white background. Now this logo has got colors in it. We don't want colors in it. We want to change the logo to black. So I'm going to double click the logo layer and this will come up here with your layer style. Come down here to color overlay and change it to black. Make sure your opacity is set to 100, otherwise, you know, the color will be a bit off. So set it to 100. That is the easiest way to get your layer to black. Okay, and flatten it down so you now have a flat image. Come up here, well, you might want to resize it as well. At the moment, this is quite small. It's a thousand pixels wide, which is fine. If yours is really, really big, um, you want to resize it, otherwise your brush is going to be really big. Edit, define brush preset. And, and you could call it my watermark. I'm going to call it my watermark uh, one because I'm going to show you a few other ways it is. Okay, so that is the first way to get your brush preset from a transparent PNG colored file. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm not going to save it because I don't want to save over. So here we go. There is my uh, watermark. I've set the brush to white on 100% um, opacity. And you can use the bracket keys to make it bigger or smaller, or you can come up here, right click, and you can make the size of it smaller here. But I prefer using the bracket keys. And uh, the right bracket makes it bigger, as you can hear me pressing it. Left bracket makes it smaller. So you kind of get it to the size you want it. Create a new layer, I would, um, rather than stamping it directly onto your image. And just kind of put it where you want it. You could make it a really small logo, depending on where you want it. Um, you can change the opacity if you want it kind of a, a, a um, you know, a lighter color watermark. If you want it to kind of cover your whole image, if you're doing this for web, you can resize it and pop it in. So that's the first way of making one watermark brush. The second way is you've already got a PNG. Here it is. Um, you probably can't see it very well, but my logo is there as a white watermark. As you can see, this is my new watermark, my white. This is a watermark file. This is also a PNG on a transparent background, but it's white already. Um, you may have this already, this version of your logo, which you kind of copy and paste or you place into your image. All you need to do is hit Control or Command if you're on a Mac and I to invert it. Right click, flatten, and that will put it onto a white background. And then just as before, edit, define brush preset. Um, So there we go. That's another way of getting the brush preset there. So here we go. There it is. That's the one we've just made. And again, same as before, you can resize it um, using the bracket keys and stamp it on wherever you like. You can make the, I mean, the opacity is quite low there. I've got it on 41. You can make it 100%. You can change the color, you know, as you would with any other brush. You can make it, you know, a bright green or something, if that's your thing. So that is the second way of doing it. Third way is what if you have your logo flattened? What if it is um, on a completely white background and it's a flat JPEG image and it's colored? Then what do you do? Then how do we make this writing black? This way is a little more complicated. You need to separate your logo, basically cut it out onto a new layer to make it black. And I'm going to use that by selecting the magic wand tool. And I'm going to um, untick the contiguous um, option up here because I want to select everything that's white. So there we go. Everything that's white is selected, meaning the entire background is selected but not the logo. I'm going to come up here, select inverse. Now I've just selected the logo. 
I am going to copy by hitting Control C and paste by hitting Control V. Or you can come up here, edit, copy and paste. So as you can see now, I have cut the layer um, out. Double click like we did in the first time, color overlay black, 100%, and flatten the image. There we go, so there it is. Edit, define brush preset, watermark 3, and there it is. There's our new watermark. So. I hope that helps. So that is how you can make a watermark from a transparent PNG, from a coloured logo, um, from a flattened JPEG. All you need to make sure you can do is have your logo in black on a white background on a flat layer. Make sure you flatten the image before you do that. Um, and then define the brush preset. Simple, easy to do. So that is how to make a, um, a watermark brush, which will make watermarking your photos really, really simple. So thank you for watching, I hope that helps. Um, you can find more information at www.lemonskyactions.com.